Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, setting up Palo Alto Firewall to, um, to uh, log syslog to uh, Cully Purple Seam uh, using uh, Elastic Stack. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure our firewall. So we need to make sure, first of all, that our time zone settings are correct. So I'm going to go to um, Device, Setup, and Management and general settings. And just do a refresh on the general settings and just make sure that um, my time zone and my times are correct. First of all, so my time zone is Australia, Melbourne, and this is the um, the current time. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is um, just go to um, uh, dynamic updates and uh, just check that I've got the, um, the latest AV. So I can do a check now and do a check, but if you look at here, you can see that the um, 22nd of the 8th um, downloaded and currently installed, that's probably pretty close. And applications and threats, um, 22nd of the 8th downloaded, installed. So there is, there is, there is new one. Now that downloads every Wednesday, but at 102 and downloads and installs automatically. So I'll just let the downloader do that on Wednesday. So that's that's close enough. Um, so the first thing I want to do then is I want to set up syslog. So to do syslog, I need to make sure that I've got a service route because my Kali Purple is on my internal network. So I'm going to go back to setup and I'm going to go to services and I'm going to go to service route configuration. And in my service wrap, I mean, I need customize. And um, it looks like I've pretty much got um, most things done. Um, so you can see here that um, my syslog is in the wrong place. So I want to customize a syslog. And I'm going to make that um, Ethernet 1.2 and um, source address of 192.168.100.1 slash 24. That'll be fine. So I'll just um, I'll just um, leave that. And um, I might just change some of these because these don't look so great. But anyway, I'll come back to that. So I'm going to send my syslogs back to my internal network. So I'll hit OK. And um, after I've done that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a syslog server profile. So I go to device and then server profiles and syslog. And I don't have any there yet. So I'm going to add a profile and I'll call this um, syslog to Kali purple seam. And um, And then I'll, I'll, I need to um, set up my um, the address of my Kali Purple Seam. So I'll add that in. And for a name, I'll call it Kali Purple Seam. And my syslog server will be um, 192.168.100.200, because that's my um, that's my Kali Purple. Uh, for transport, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use TCP. So I'll change that to TCP. My format, I'm going to use um, IATF. And the port I'm going to use is, um, oops, 9001. Our facility can be log user. Yep. So that looks good. 9001. It's probably needs to need to check that port. Um, hit OK. Now, the next thing I need to do is to create a um, log forwarding profile. So what I'll do is I'll go to objects 
And um, then I'll go to um, log forwarding. And I need to add one. And I'll call this um, log traffic for my traffic logs. And um, And I'll add and cancel. Yeah, now I'll add and I'll call this one. Actually, I could cancel that. So this should be called um, Carly Purple Scene Profile. Getting ahead of myself here. And I'll add one of these, and this can be my traffic log. So I'll copy. And I'll call this log traffic. And this is, can be my traffic log. And I can leave that at all logs. And for syslog, I'll go add and I'll put syslog to Kali purple scene. And that can be okay for my traffic log. And then I also want to add a um, a threat log as well. So I want to log my threats. So I'll add and I'll call this one um, log threat. And this will be a threat log. And I'm going to use syslog. And I'll add and I'll syslog to my Kali purple scene, which is my profile. And hit enter. OK. And Okay, so basically what I'm in my in my uh, profile, I'm going to log my traffic logs and I'm going to log my threat logs. So I'll hit OK to that. Now, the other thing I need to do is I've set up my login, but the other thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I've got a security policy which is going to log. So I'll go into policies and um, I'll select secure, security policy. And um, let's um, let's log this one, this app inside to outside. So I'll select this one, and I'm going to go to actions, and I've got log at ses session end, but you can see here I've got log 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my Kali Purple Scene profile, so that that little log it'll log to the um, to the scene. So I'll hit OK on that. And um, the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that those changes are committed. So I'll just go and commit those changes and uh, hit commit and I'll let that commit. OK, it looks like um, my, my um, commit is just about completed. So what we can do now is uh, go and have a look at um, Kali purple. So now we'll just log into Kali purple. And um, what I'm interested in is um, my um, my, my configuration of uh, fleet. So if I have a look at, um, I'm in Elastic, so I've logged into Elastic and I've gone to Fleet. So I'm just going down here and just selected um, selected Fleet. And you can see here I've got a Fleet Server policy already set up. So if I have a look at my Fleet Server policy and I've got some integrations installed. So I've got this um, PAN W2 integration uh, which is a PAN W2, which is a Palo Alto Next Gen firewall integration. So let's have a look at the configuration of that. So if I go and have a look at the integration settings, let's wait for this to load. So if I look at this integration settings, you can see the PAN W2 syslog host port is set to 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And a syslog port is set to 9001. And um, so that's the setting. So what that means is that um, 
Um, the, the Elastic Agent will be listening on um, port 9001 for uh, syslogs from uh, the Palo Alto firewall, firewall over, um, over TCP. Okay, so once we've got our um, integration set up, the next thing we can do is we can run Wireshark, and I've got Wireshark set up. So I've got a um, destination IP of 1.200, which is my Kali Purple scene, and source IP, which is my um, my firewall. And you can see here I've got plenty of traffic, um, which is communicating between on TCP. So if we just pause there, have a look at this one. So this is from um, 100.1. So this is from my firewall to my um, to my fleet agent. Um, you can see the port is to port 9001, and you can see here this is a this is a log. So this is a from the PA220. It's got the date, it's a traffic log, and then there's some IP addresses and other information which is being sent um, to um, to the um, to the fleet agent. So if I now go and have a look at um, and run Discover. So in Discover, I've got a, a filter here, which is data stream .data set is panw.panos. And if I just do, um, say, this for the, um, the last 15 minutes and do a refresh. And um, so this is, this is the traffic which is being logged. You can see here. So if I have a look here, and what I've done is I've selected specific fields from the traffic log and also from the threat log, but mainly from the traffic log. So I've got the um, PANW PANOS rule set. So that's my security policy. Got the action, which is allow. Um, ingress zone, which is from the inside. The egress zone, which is outside. So this is traffic flowing from inside to outside on the firewall. Source IP. 192.168.100.51, which is my, my host PC. Uh, destination is the internet. Network traffic port 53, UDP, so it's DNS traffic. You see the, um, the it's been characterized as um, network application. So this is the application that's been characterized. And the event action was um, flow terminated. So you can see here, I've got the um, I've got information coming from my um, Palo Alto firewall into um, my uh, Kali Purple scene, which I can then integrate with other logs that I'm getting from other devices on my local network. Hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching. Actually, just before we do, there is a da there are a number of dashboards that you do get with the um, with the uh, integration. So I've got one here. This is a dashboard. Um, this is the network flows dashboard. Um, not a lot of traffic there, so it's not drawing the maps, but um, um, you can see here we've got um, count. So this is flow creation, source zone, destination zone, which is what I'm logging. Um, it's broken up by network applications, DNS base, SSL, web quick. Um, event outcome by transport and destination port, so you can see the different ports. And there's other other information which is available in this um, in this in this dashboard. And then down the bottom, um, down the bottom here we've got um, we've got um, our traffic events, which again they've picked up specific fields, and they're displaying specific fields in the traffic. Okay, hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much for watching.